Welcome to another edition of How I Got the Shot, the BTS edition. In today's episode, we're gonna be shooting a fashion editorial and studio at my favorite studio, my go-to, a fly on the wall studio located in Miami, Florida. The lighting app. After yeah. reviewing the mood board, the next step is to set up the lights. So I use three Profoto D1s, Profoto 5 foot octo box, a Profoto beauty dish, and a Profoto 1x6 strip box. My camera for the session, and pretty much any time I'm shooting these days, is the Canon R5. And I paired that with the Canon 100mm macro and the 24-70. At this point in the session, I'm still trying to make sure I'm in love with the lighting. It's not that I didn't like it, but I wanted to be in love. So I'm constantly checking that. And then also showing the model, the mood board, to make sure we're on track. I didn't spend all that time working on the mood board to ignore it. I used it quite often during my shoots. Oh, I love my middle bars. <laughs> yes, me too. For this look, we were pretty much going for what we had in the mood board, like directly. But we wanted to have her version of it. As you can see, she immediately jumped right into it. Everything made sense. There was no confusion about what we were trying to achieve or what look we were going for, and then she gave me a ton of variations and put her own twist on it. When it comes to hair and makeup, I'm not an expert. So I always bring experts on set. I do know what I like and what I don't like, but a lot of times I'll defer to them because again, they're the experts. The makeup artist and hairstylist understood the mood board and understood what will work well with the dress, what would also be flattering for the model. And as soon as we switched the dress, she made adjustments to the hair. And again, super flattering for the model. It all painted her in a great light. Look off, look off, look off. We are done. Eyes here. This was my favorite look of the session. I'm pretty sure it's because of the mesh and the giant buttons and the, the cut that's on the jacket itself. It just all screamed high in fashion to me. And so I'm like, okay, I really wanna lock this in. As you can see, I'm constantly making small adjustments as I'm shooting and I'm able to see what I'm doing because I'm shooting tethered into Caption One, which puts it into the computer. And then I also have a larger monitor so I can really, really see what I'm doing. We were able to get the lighting right so that we can then get the shot that we wanted pretty quickly. It was just a matter of letting her do her thing. And as you can see, she moves extremely well. Very, very fluid movements made my job really, really easy. Look off towards the light, the, in the tent size when you look off. Wow. Listen, she don't miss. She don't miss shot after shot after shot. At this point in the session, we've done everything on the mood board. We've exhausted all of those ideas and now we're going with the flow. We're kind of thinking about the wardrobe a little more now that we're in person. We're going with the vibe of just the session and how the lighting is and I'm letting her do her thing, I'm doing my thing and we're, we're getting even more images, even doper images than I had even imagined. Yeah, there's some great ones. Wow. Yay! Yeah. Is that a wrap? Yeah, I wrap. Yeah. 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 Good. Awesome. Yeah, Amazing. <laughs>